Good morning, boys and squirrels, and welcome back to day two of the flight to survive. Fadoo, 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 fadoo. On the aircraft carrier challenge mod. Now we're back at the beginning where it all started, where we came into the plane. I dropped most of my shit off, kept a few things, found two books along the way coming back, and I'm going to start scrapping these potted plants and picking those up as well. But this is Gold Rush. You seem to know exactly which safes to hit. Find 10% more dukes and cash and safes and cash registers and ATMs. And then... Best loot typically has automatic defense systems like motion sensors and auto turrets. Motion detection devices will not recognize you for three seconds. That's kind of nice. I don't know if it'll be relevant, but we'll see. What we want to do today is one, it'd be nice to go fetch those supplies. But two, to finish clearing out, there we go, this beginning building or beginning area. Because we still have an upstairs, like, there we go, need that, put a point into that. Hopefully that pays off. But there's a lot, a lot, a lot that we have not. We've just scratched the surface. We got extremely lucky, I feel like, with finding the trader. As you can tell, there were so many uh, doors and ways to go. There might be different ways to get to her, but a lot of those doors were locked too. So I'm going to break these down. We need lead pipes not only to make our level two pipe machine gun but we also need them to make a forge so so that'll be very useful for us so we got to keep breaking shit like that down uh that's locked um do we go up here as i was running down here i did notice they're breaking into the ship from the outside damn everything is freaking locked okay We'll go this way then. We'll head toward the package. We'll go up there in a minute. Can we go this way? That's locked too. Or locked also. I think it's time we go right up here. Unlocked. There we go, baby. What's up here, guys? Oh, shit. Fetch my supplies? Like, why, why is it just a thingy? Okay. Before. Okay. Lots of zombies. Before we turn that on, let's clear out the room because I don't know if more zombies are going to pop up or what's going to happen. I did over the night. Damn it. Make a bow. I probably won't shoot this guy in his ass because I can't see his face. Is there another guy? There is one. Shoot him in the arm. Take that, bitch. Okay. Okay. Nice. Tactical Warfare. Assault Rifle. There's Pipe Machine Gun 3s. Dude, where are these people? Oh, right here. Oh, shit. He dropped an actual loot bag. Does this open? It does not, so we're going to go get that. Well, that's pretty neat. He dropped his regular loot bag. But then he also shit up. Oh, shit! He shit out a regular loot bag. Uh, which gives us some food, which we will take. Beggars can't be choosers and whatnot. Let's put this here. That way, if more people come that way, it uh, we should be fine there. What I may do just for you all is clear the fog because we're inside the damn building. So this is a little helpful hint for anybody that ever needs that shit is weather space fog space zero there's maybe other ways to do it as well but that clears the fog and usually i'll do that if i'm spending a lot of time flying or like <clears throat> spending a lot of time with you all just so you all are able to see it doesn't bother me too much but then again we're inside so it shouldn't be a thing there's a mine in itself military goods a lot of bow ammo, which is good. I just need a damn weapon. This is locked. I don't really see anything too valuable in there. Okay, this part is clear. Now. I... I guess we accept this and just be ready. 
um, this way, it shows us going up. Oh, son of a biscuit ass. Is it on the roof? Maybe. Let's kill him. I don't even know what you get for fetching the supplies. Because I'm going to be honest, I don't really feel like Jin gave it to us. I feel like that shit just popped on from what I remember. Oh, man. What's this? Lots of zombies. Time for Mortal Kombat. Okay, we ran across. Real sketchy. Ah, oh, bitch. Okay. We're good. We're good. Did you not? Man, they all drop a red devil bag, but. Nine times out of ten, that is nothing or booty butt, so. Let's do this. This advanced tweak to the hydrox increases the fire rate of robotic. Yep, sure. We'll learn all this shit. And then we'll start selling a lot of that off toward the end. But there we go. That's what we wanted. Ooh, shit. That's nice. Don't have to worry about crafting that handgun magazine. Pipe pistol level two. Hey, there's our thingy. Yay, it's not upstairs. Oh, shit. So now we gotta gather all the parts. Makes me think this would be a lot of good shit to break down, but let's keep moving for now. I wanna find some guns. One thing I will mention is when I was showing you, like, zombies respawn every three days, I did notice that's not, like, the original. I don't know if it was just, like, holy shit, placed on that or what, but it's actually supposed to be every seven days. We'll leave it as three because I didn't move that. So, we'll just see how it goes. If it's just way, way too insane at three days, which it could be because, dude, it's already day two. So everything we've cleared is going to be for nothing come tomorrow. Oh, shit. You're a runner. You're a track star. Oh. Okay, let's keep going this way. There we go, baby. Read this book on how to make denim jean skirts and overalls. Sure. Huh. Woke some people up. Oh, dude. Take that, bitch. We woke him up from a ways away, honestly. Stab him in the you-know-what. The no-no square. Okay, this is a cardboard box. Potato seed. I gotta remember, there's tons of clay and shit like this, too. Like, this is clay, right? Yeah. All of this is clay, too, so if we ever need some... It's all around the damn base. That one area that had the booger in it has a lot of shit to clear. With, also though, with that being a working whatever right here, maybe it's worth it. Especially before day seven, we go hard on all this shit. And then we can upgrade our area. Man. 
just thinking like I'm I think I will I may switch that back to day seven for uh zombies respawn because dude we're a fourth of the way through day two and we haven't cleared not even the first room you know so we are so far behind like there's no way to do that especially being as weak as we are right now where is this let's drop mm, let's go uh here's what we'll do shit used to make this we'll put in there so you go in there you in that rock for now we'll just actually turn this on and then put the rest of the shit in there you know cement mix these and that's it really but okay this is going to be the main issue of this series i feel like is inventory space boy i could really use bernice let's see learn this advanced reloading technique and reload rifles 10 percent faster i feel like we need to do the construction boxes because they got a good chance of dropping not only forged head books, but a lot of the resources we're going to need. I'm going to scrap that one. We have one. We're just always going to hear zombies. Is that going to be a thing? Dude, unfortunately, I feel like we already have to go back. Drop shit off and then come back out. Watch out, pleb. Did I put any points into? Okay, we got two points into parkour. Damn it! Like, where the... Like... What the fuck? We were in there. Oh, shit. Dude, did this area reset when I reset the quest? It did. Alright, that's fine. I'm cool with that. But at first, I was about to say that... They are saying we didn't clear this. Bitch. Okay, well, now we gotta try to clear this little ass area again. Alright, boys and squirrels, here we are. Came back to the base, dropped everything off. As you can tell, I made a level 3 pipe machine gun, so we have that. Now we have little Taz's Pew Pew, which is gonna have all of our ammo, as well as our guns. The iron crossbow's in here for now, just because we don't have any crossbow bolts. Molly D's crafting shit. Anything we can use to craft. Shit. <laughs> Spoo special num nums. This will be water, food, and then plantable farming shit. Survival Geeks heals. Just all our healing shit, our sellable shit, and our vehicle shit. So we already almost have the tires needed, necessary to do that. Which is amazing. Put this up. Just another quick shout out to the Patreon members. Uh... Never necessary, but always appreciated. And that's how they kind of get their names in the game in some form or another. So if you've ever wondered that, that's that's why you'll see them pop up in the uh, game itself. But okay, I, I guess let's get back to it. We have a gun now, which is amazing. We have two points. No, we used our two points. But our parkour is now at two, so we can jump a meter higher. I just, I don't know where to go, really. I just feel like we stick to the beginning, clear that out. And then keep going. The bad part is, I feel like we need to go... Oh, no. Huh. Let's turn around. This is the end of the boat this way. I did not know that. I thought this way was the way to go. But this is the end, so... Which one of these? There's one of these that's open. It's like a level 5... Yeah, emergency V battery. Emergency battery V? Okay. Let's try to take care of some of these guys with our arrows themselves. Take that, bitch. Yeah, you better sit down, pansy. You can get it, too. Don't run too fast. Oh, 
we're just all waking up. No, you can. Okay, I guess you can come too. Okay, okay. Thank you for whatever that was. There we go. The good loot bag. The yellow one. <laughs> no one's ever said that before. Okay, there's another vehicle book. We unlocked the wheels already. Urban combat. Train your ears for the that distinct clicking sound of the landmine actuator. And save your legs for another journey. Landmines won't detonate when stepped on. That's fucking clutch. Very nice. You can get stabbed right in your peen. What the? Never a good... <gasps> oh, shit! I was going to say, where is he at if he's not there? Okay, we're clearing this part out first. Okay, that's not very strong. But it's like, if we clear this out, throughout the night, I can come in here and just lay waste to some of this electrical shit. There's a battery already. It's just, I want to do this shit during the night. Hey, a level 3 battery. Some say that's better than a level 1. Goodbye, head. Another battery? Another battery. No shortages of batteries. I do feel like it said I need two engines and two batteries. So, that, I mean, that's good. We definitely have the batteries done. To make the UH-60, that is. Now. Okay. Do I have boots? I do, but they're that ones. Okay. Everyone needs shoes. Learn to craft a variety of good-looking and versatile footwear featured in this easy-to-follow guide. Okay, this place is cleared. So throughout the night, we can come in here and lay waste to shit as well. This is the place to where I came in and cleared as I was running back to the beginning. Look, like, I don't want to get hit, but hurt. I think there's where we started. Yeah, there's where we started. Which we can't go out there, I know, but they're already breaking into this place. Now, the shit thing is, like, dude, do I unlock this? Oh, shit. <gasps> oh! Holy shit! Wait. What the hell? Son of a biscuit ass! Was that door open? I think it was. Oh, shit. Now this one's open. Okay. Dude, I'm so confused. Okay, we gotta clear this part out. That's all I know. Quarters and exos. Captain's quarters. Ooh, this could be good. Okay, we need to kill whoever's in here. Stupid. Another safe. We will not be partaking. Can I have some warmer clothes? That's a no. We'll learn the Great Doer mod. Probably wouldn't hurt to eventually make if we could. <clears throat> Claw Hammer level 1. And then, tired of getting robbed by punk traders? Bartering with the 44 gun drawn gives you a 5% better deal. That'll be nice. And then Bunker Buster, we'll go ahead and learn it since it's the first one. Dude, so, so, so many locked doors. Which we get a better mining tool, and we could break in, say, right here, because it's a thousand. But until then, I don't know if it's worth it. A bird? Alright, another forge ahead. Yay. Alright. 
Learn both of those. Dude, we're flying with the Forge Head books. Knife guy, already moon quality three. The most powerful handgun in the world just got more powerful. You can craft high power 44 Magnum AM. Oh, workbench. There we go. That's nice. Check in here. Oh, shit. Surprise. Sell that. Learn this. Do 10% more damage to land claim properties. We need to get back. What we're going to do is we're going to try popping this thing open with two tries. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, let's get back. Okay. Since this door's locked open now, we'll put that there. Everywhere else is kind of good to go. Do that. Oh, shit. Thankfully, we didn't fuck that one up. Alright, let me sell everything really quick. Alright, the night is here, boys and squirrels. We're set up really well. Had a very good day, too, to where we knocked out the fetch quest, and now we're all ready to gather some UH-60 parts. We got a long way to go. 20 headlights. That's insane. I just now saw that. The electrical parts, short iron pipe, mechanical parts, and springs. Us breaking shit down throughout the ship should be able to get those. Now, the headlights, there's vehicles on the ship, so hopefully we're able to get those, too. But damn... I think we're going to have to start going into salvage operations now. I really want to go ahead and put a few points, maybe just that one, just to help with stamina even more. But I think salvage operations is going to be a big one. So we'll do that for sure because that's a lot to get. But I'm excited. We're on our way, boys and squirrels. We'll see how it goes in day three. We'll get a little bit further and knock out a lot more stuff. Throughout the night, I'll probably go harvest quite a bit of shit just to get us closer to that goal but thanks for tuning in and watching as always it means so much special thanks to all the patreon and youtube members you guys are absolute legends links below if you want to donate as i always say never necessary but always appreciated then lastly tonight we'll be streaming hell divers too so if you want to come check that out or at the very least i'd love for you to just come say hi so make sure to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace